So you've seen her on X Factor. She's an actress. She's a comedian. Bloodworks Live Studio. Please welcome Miss Rachel Crow to the stage, please. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, girlfriend. Well, come on. Here you go. Dun, 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 dun. Real quick, I just want to point out that Rachel and I are zipper twins. I don't know. I don't know if you can see this right here. Yeah. The circle zipper. I like that. Yep. Who's this you have with you? This is Ariana. Hello, Ariana. Everyone say hi, Ariana. Hi. Yes. <laughs> I smell pizza. Is it good? Oh, good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pizza, pizza, schmizza. Pizza, schmizza. So whenever you're back in P-Town. Is that, sure. wait, wait, that's what it's called? Yeah. <gasps> say that five times fast. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we already did that. Yeah, we Trivia. did. Trivia. Seriously. Not, not, a, not again. Mm-mm. So before we get to your music, we want to get to know Rachel Crow, if that's cool. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, congrats on all of your success so far. Thank you. You're 21. I know. What the heck? I'm an adult. <laughs> How did all of this happen? It's like, wake up, you can drink now. Oh my gosh. Like, okay, <laughs> sure. Have you had an alcoholic beverage yet since you've been 21? I have. Do you have a favorite one? Um, I like, I just, I'm really simple. I just mm-hmm. like margaritas. Ooh, hey girl, get it. Oh, I saw a point. You we like a margarita girl. fans. Is that what we're doing after this? Or, <laughs> 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 oh, I'm down. You are too um, funny. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm old. Life That's is good. Happens. Life's Life good. is good. Uh, does every, anyone ever get you confused with uh, Cheryl Crow? Because <laughs> no, your name is people, Rachel Crow? They don't get me confused because, like, <laughs> we look a little different. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we were a little, you know, our hair is different. Yeah. Um, and, but they sometimes will say Cheryl by accident. Like, they great Cheryl, Rachel, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't think anyone's ever been like, like Dude. are you Cheryl Crow? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be weird. I'd be like, or, can you see okay? Right. Are you all right? <laughs> Are you fine? <laughs> I just, I love your energy. Oh, I just love your personality. You. You're so fun. Uh, so I'm a huge fan of the Goldbergs. <gasps> Yay, and you were recently featured on Schooled, which is a yes, spinoff show Schooled, of yeah. the Goldbergs. How was that experience for you? It's good. Um, it's a fun show to work on. I yeah. think, yeah, all the episodes are always so funny and the whole cast is great. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm on tonight. I, I get oh! confused with numbers, but I'm pretty sure tonight at 830 I am on school. Yeah. So. Tune in, guys. It's funny. Check I'm it driving. Out. I'll give you a hint. Oh, snap. I have to drive, so the we'll like see how that goes. Driver's right? education. Yeah. I don't actually drive in real life, so really watch. <laughs> like, really watch. Are you, like, bad at parallel parking? Um, I I don't know. <laughs> you really I don't think don't I've drive? even gotten that far. Really? No, like, I'm, I've, am i like, driven. I yeah. have, like, my permit. Like, I can drive, but I don't think I've parallel parked yet. I'll get there. Don't do it. Don't it's do worthless, it. dude. You know, I have a song that I'm singing first that's called Don't Do It. Oh my gosh. Don't do it. So my that's what I'm going to do. My name's Ice. I was going to say I got ESP, but I got ICE. Oh I, I my feel God, it. that's so good. I feel it. ICE. And you're cold, which I'm makes cold. me sad. I brought all this snow with us here tonight. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was your fault. It's all my fault. That's okay. I'm I sorry. think I helped. I'm sorry. I, I uh, <laughs> So we got to talk about your new single, Up All Night. Yeah. Were you up all night writing it or what's the yeah. deal? No, I wish. That'd be a better story. <laughs> like, yeah, I stayed up all night writing it. Right. Um. No, I was, okay. Uh, let's let's do a fun little let, let's let's ask the audience some questions yeah okay so who here has had a crush on somebody me yeah. everybody raises their hand <laughs> um so i really had this major crush on this guy and by the grace of god i don't know what happened he liked me back <laughs> oh no. and i was like this is great i love that i love when that happens um and i was like on facetime with him all night long all the time like Aww. we would just talk 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 Um, And we hung out and we were just like very close and then it just sort of like ended. And it was very clear to me that that's sort of probably what this was supposed to be. And it wasn't supposed to be like a relationship or something intense. Like it was just supposed to be like me healing from like a jerky guy that was mean to me and Mm. him healing from like his own stuff and like just being together and having fun. So that happened. Aww. And I found myself at a party six months later mm-hmm. and he walked in. And I was like, shut <gasps> up. You know what I mean? I was like, oh my God, no. Yeah. I was like, I haven't and seen you. And that was you. the first time meeting in person. Yeah, since. What? And I was mortified. I was like so nervous. Yeah, I was like, I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> and um, he walked in and it just picked right back up. And I was like, what? Like, yeah. That's crazy that we can just like move on and everything's fine. Um, and then the next day I was in the studio and I was like, okay, yep. um, this sounds like a song. And so I really wrote it just um, 
as therapy. Like I was like, oh, this is, you know, something that happened to me that I'm sure everyone's gone through in Absolutely. some way or another. Um, and I wrote it and my label heard it and they were like, this is great. And I was like, really? Okay, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> like I was like, I wrote this because I thought it was fun and feeling great. Feeling something and it made in me the moment. Feel happy. Yeah. yeah. And they loved it. And so a year later, here it is. I love that. Yeah, it's a good little story, cool. I think. Cool. Do you guys still talk? Yeah, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see him sometimes and I'm like, you're like, is it still going to be? You don't know this song is about you. <laughs> <laughs> so, love oh my that. god, my like my friends and family threaten me. They're yeah. like, we're gonna tell him. I'm like, hmm, do you're you like, want to live? You better not. I'm like, dude, do, do you enjoy being in my life? Because, <laughs> what'd you say? Oh yeah, if you're watching, yeah, this right now, <laughs> you better be careful. <laughs> Like omits certain details so he doesn't know. He's like, that could be anyone that she FaceTimed exactly. for hours. Absolutely. Anyway. He probably knows. But I'm telling myself he doesn't, so I don't have to deal with that. I'll probably write another song about dealing with him finding out that it was about him. There you go. That we'll all be able to relate to. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now your character, or you can become a character with Amazon Echo? Is that what it is? Oh my god, what? I, right? You get to do what? And people get to oh, like no. be oh. you. Okay, no. Very different, but I know what you're talking about. Right. Echo, Echo is a platform that is not Amazon. But okay. I'm like, guys, like it sounds the same. It um, should no, be. but Echo basically is this platform where you get to choose what I do through the show. So it's a really incredible show called Timeline. Yeah. It's on it's like it's like Netflix, but it's called Echo instead. And basically, um, I don't know if you guys saw the Black Mirror Bandersnatch thing. That was awful because <laughs> I was watching it for three hours and I never got to the end. Right. And I was like, hello. I was like, I would love to Because you have to like pick out. the ending yeah. or it do like it yourself. It just kept yeah. going in a circle. My show's not like that. Okay. Um, <laughs> my show's basically this teenager who um, finds out that like her phone is broken and she goes to replace it and it's this really shady guy at the mall yeah. and um her phone ends up telling the future and like she gets to see what happens in real time and Dude. it's like some dark stuff. So it's, it's really <laughs> interesting because um, it sort of follows teenagers in their lives because, you know, I think we watch these shows and we're like, Oh, that's fun. But then we have these other tone shows like 13 reasons why, where it's very serious content and things that yeah. kids are dealing with that nobody talks about. So it's sort of a cross between like happy and that. Yeah. I think it's a great show. I I'm think really it proud sounds of great, it. yeah. And basically, as I'm going through like my character, you'll get to choose like, well, does she want to go with this person or that person? You choose, and then it goes into that portal, and then you click, and it was so hard. How long does that take to oh, film it was something awful. like that, it man? Was the best experience ever. Right. And, like, I made lifelong friends, and our director and writers and producers, direct, like, everyone's yeah. amazing, but it was the hardest thing I've ever done in I my bet. life. I bet. Like, awful yeah. like it was <laughs> so like, weird because again. you know when you're filming something like you're doing one scene at a time but within that one scene i was doing four scenes yeah. because you're doing the different moods so i'd have to change it up and be happy or sad or confused or crazy you know what i mean like yeah. there's so many different yeah, emotions it was crazy Who knew? that could even happen in real life man our cell phones are going to be telling <laughs> us tell what we're I'm doing i'm emotional next. enough that it does happen to <laughs> oh me in real life. like reacting to a situation one yeah. way and then the next day i'm like that was fun <laughs> I loved that. <laughs> you are so talented. Oh, thank you're you. an actress, a comedian. You sing. Oh, I am happy to be a comedian. Yeah, you're like that's just who I am as I'm just, a person. I feel like I'm just really awkward, and everybody thinks it's funny. <laughs> and I'm like, great. I feel that way too sometimes. Yeah. But you know what? If it works, it works. Like I love, <laughs> I love her because she makes me feel like I'm the funniest person. Because she'll just laugh at everything I do. I'm like, yes, I'm hilarious. Ugh. <laughs> uh, is there anything next for you, Rachel Kroll? What the heck are you going to do next? Oh, my God, I don't know. Um, I'm supposed to have an EP ready in April. But uh oh like, <laughs> You're like, I don't know. That's not, that's not <laughs> real. Um, I'm a perfectionist, so all these songs, you'll hear some new songs today. Woo. Cool. Um, but all these songs, I'm just sort of like figuring out where I want them to go and how I want them to come out. And we're in talks about that stuff. Um, I also have some film projects coming up. But okay. like, I find that if I talk about them, then everyone's like, Oh, I'm so excited. And then like two years goes by and it's and still nothing's not out. happening. And they're like, I don't remember what she said. So <laughs> I'll tell you when it's close. Well, like when you when can it visually happens. see something happening with it, I'll let y'all know. There it goes. But there yeah. it goes. Rachel Crow, you guys Thank ready to hear you. some music from this girl or yeah! what? Bloodworks Life Studio. Give it up for Rachel Crow. Woo!